Hey there, everyone. Time's up. The NFL trade deadline is over. And it was quite... Well, it was too quiet. Too, too, too quiet. I mean... But I'm pretty sure a lot of people are, are furious. I mean, Stephon Gilmore didn't end up getting traded away from the Patriots... Patriots? I bet it was the, the Patriots' plan. Make Stephon Gilmore... Make Stephon Gilmore worth a first-round draft pick so that no one would steal him. If that was their plan, it worked. Congratulations, New England. You screwed over a lot of people. <laughs> and I bet the Packers did the same thing on... And I bet the Texans did the same thing for Will Fuller because... Because they asked for a second-round draft pick. Which screwed over the Green Bay Packers. They should have done it. They should have done it. But no, they didn't. And I'm sure a lot of Green Bay Packers fans. Pants. Green Bay Packers fans. Are. Especially you, Tom Grassi. I bet you're going like. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it. Hear him if he makes a video about that. <laughs> the one team that did make make an impact during the trade deadline that wasn't a completely waste of time was, of course, the Miami Dolphins. Congratulations, you're the only team that didn't screw, didn't waste our time after all. <laughs> yeah, they traded away their slot receiver Isaiah Ford to the New England Patriots for a 2022 seven-round draft pick. And there, and it wasn't done yet. They then traded to the Kansas City Chiefs to get DeAndre Washington. And then, they gave up a conversional draft pick. We don't know what number it is. So, yeah. So, yeah, congratulations, Miami Dolphins. You really are the winners today. Really know how to screw up a lot of people. Now, of course, I was... Now, of course, if there were... if Normally, I would have gone through with the NFL playoff prediction video right now. But there are some, new, some other news I want to discuss. Starting off with the Buffalo Bills signing Darrell... Dora Worley onto their practice squad. He was former cornerback of the Dallas Cowboys. He was released at the same time Dante Poe was. So, congratulations, Buffalo. All you need to do is have have a few more training methods and you're going to have a good cute cornerback. Now let's move on to the new rule. Let's move on to what the NFL was discussing. Before the trade deadline. After all the COVID-19... After the COVID-19 wildfire, the NFL decided to extend the bench area... And tighten up mask rules. And with all the COVID-19... Teens pop... Popping up, I can't blame them for do, for wanting to make that rule. I mean, seriously, this is a, a, a bunch of ridiculous. <sighs> anyways, anyways, tomorrow I'll be working on, I'll be working on an NFL playoff prediction. Video, so yeah. Then comment, comment down below if you want it live stream or apparently not, or not. Also, comment down be below, below which trades were you disappointed that didn't happen.
That's right, I want to hear your opinion. If you're mad, if you're angry, upset that your team didn't pull a, the move you wanted, I want to hear it. Okay, because I'm pretty sure I was expecting Titans to do more than just get De Desmond King. But hey, life is life. Anyways, see you when I bring even more breaking news. Which is hope, or at least till my NFL playoff prediction video.